Page 17, Fun on the Beach. Here we cover two note slurs. Two note slurs and the technique is you go down and up gently. They call it a drop and a roll. I don't care for either of those words because I don't want to drop anything. And I don't roll. I mean, I, I roll a rolled chord, but I don't roll a two note slur because they want to draw. It's like here in second measure. They want you to drop and roll. I just lift, I just down up. And some teachers teach the second note is short. I don't. If they want it short, they can put in a staccato. You simply lift up. I mean, the fact that you are lifting up, it makes it slightly staccato, but not short. So forth, and that's the technique we're talking about. I'll talk about it a little more when we get to the articulation because that's where I add it in. Right now I'm just going to connect everything as best I can. Right hand first, you're here. It's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four. thumb down because that's a whole note. And you do that some more. Let's go down to the last line. One, two, three, four. Now it's a three, three. And then a three. It's okay if that's what you want to do. It keeps the thumb off that. And that's not a bad idea. So, But you don't have to come back. You don't have to come back with a three. You can do a four. Because you can do it before. That's fine too. We gotta do it sometimes. And then, and then last measure. The, the B naturals are, are quarter notes. Hold them down. Even though it doesn't sound good. Here. It's, it's not an eighth note. See, that C is not by itself. Left hand. Well, C chord. I use, yeah, 2 5 or 5 2. You just come in here. 5 2 and then here if you want, or you can do this and a 2 3 here if you'd like. Either fingering works there in the second line. And the last measure, then F natural. You don't need a natural sign there because it's a natural anyway, but they're being nice. Okay. And then go on up. Measure the third line is 5 2. And then it, the last note is a C. The two ledger lines below the bass is a C. Put the hands together. 1, 2, 3, 4. put the hands together you can do it you take it your speed and make sure the notes are correct and no hesitations it's, it's a nice steady beat then we can add the articulation which is the slurs and staccatos and accents so this is where a down up down up It's not a real big motion. I exaggerate it so you can see it better. It's actually a little motion. Rest, rest. Now in the second line, third major, staccato. And that's, hold that quarter note down. That's like the last major, two note slur. Now, it's, it's not really much of a down up, um, it sort of is, but it's a long one. Because hold that out two counts and then lift up. Because you can lift up before you go on. Like taking a breath. You know. Now last line, you're... You're staccato, but not there. And that's a staccato. You can go ahead and lift. 
it's interpretation here. There's two ways of playing that last measure. You can lift both hands at the same time. But that's not what's written. They could have put a dot on the upper staff too. But what they want, if you play that left hand, staccato, but hold that out the full count. So it's at the end, it's down by itself, just for a little bit. One, two, three, off. So, and a lot of times it's done that way too. I think in this case it sounds better that way. It's again back to interpreting. Which way do you like? Which would you prefer? Dynamic wise, it applies to the right hand. It's moderately loud. Whatever you think loud is. And an accent is going to be or loud. But then you crescendo up to loud, and that makes the accent very loud. Moderately loud. Third line, they don't say to, but I suggest you come back down to moderately loud. Because you crescendo to end of the end of the second line. And generally you'd stay there until they give you something else. But I suggest you come back down because in the third line and the second measure, they want you to crescendo. You're not going to go from loud to very loud. This is not a very loud piece. So come back down to moderately loud and then go back up to loud. down and then you go back up to loud and end it loud. Left hand has to be in the background so keep it in the background huh? Yeah. So forth something like that. No pedal on this piece. Never use pedal unless you absolutely have to, and this piece definitely doesn't need it. Speed-wise, fast. And how fast can you play it accurately? So this is not like super duper fast, it's the feeling of it. And these slurs are going to do it. How fast can you play those accurately and under control? And that's how fast you're going to be able to take the piece. So you find the hardest part in the piece for you, Maybe it's the last line, second measure. However fast you can do that accurately is how fast you take it. Everybody will have a slightly different speed for Allegro. It's a personal thing. Music is a personal thing. you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do any dynamics. I will do the accents as best I can. So I'll give us four counts. Let's just do it slowly together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Thank mm -hmm. you.